Hi, my name is Michael and I have made an earthquake preparedness film. I interviewed my friends and family to see how much they know about earthquake preparedness. Something that's falling down off the ceiling. It has to do with the shifting of the earth. Earthquakes are caused by faults shifting. You've got faults along the earth and they, the, the earth shifts. Geothermal activity, in other words, body, hot bodies of rock rising up through the crust. The Earth's crust contains large tectonic plates. When two plates slide over each other, they create fault lines where earthquakes occur. This map shows active faults in Southern California. In here are our earthquake supplies. And um, we have a lot of different foods, canned foods and dry foods, as well as stuff like uh, canned salmon, canned tuna, sardines, staples like that. We've got lots of rice and uh, um, crackers and fruits and generally a good assortment of food. I have designed my wine storage unit so that it's earthquake proof. So the bottles will not jiggle out of the shelves and break. I have these doors installed here with, the, with catch uh, runners here and here so that if and I keep them like this so that they're closed and all of the wine cannot come off the shelves. A lot. Whatever you have, you should have more. A gallon of water per person per day. <laughs> and then over here we have lots of water. We keep water on hand. So these are some of our water bottles. We always keep about 15 gallons of uh, reverse osmosis water. You should have about a gallon per day per person. And you should be prepared for at least 72 hours, if not up to two weeks. As we saw with Hurricane Katrina and several recent disasters, the three-day the three day rule is not enough. So you really need to be prepared to be on your own, and I mean on your own with no help from anybody, for at least five days to seven days to possibly as long as two weeks. This is enough water for a family of four for three days. Under a table or under a chair? Under a piece of heavy furniture and hold on. Underneath some p heavy piece of furniture where you can stop, drop, and hold on. Under a table is a very safe place to be during an earthquake. You should drop, cover, and hold on just like this. Under the covers and stay there. If you are in bed, you should stay in bed. Cover your head if you need to with the pillow. While you're in bed during an earthquake, stay in bed and cover your head with a pillow. Like this. One time I was, and I didn't even know there was an earthquake, and I was just driving. Well, if you're in a car, I think the best thing to do is to pull over. Well, it also depends on what's in front of you. If you see, like, the road is cracking in front of you, I definitely would stop. I've been in a car when there's earthquakes, and I did not feel them. I think I would stop. Hopefully I would have supplies in my trunk. I would put on my sneakers, and I would just wait until it's over. You should pull over to the side of the road, stop, and put your emergency brake on. Do not pull under an overpass. Try to stay away from trees, big buildings. Just kind of stop where it's safe. If you're in a car during an earthquake, Stay in your car and don't touch any metal in case any wires fall in your car.
you should drop down in between the seats and hold on. I think the best thing to do is to wait until it's over. You don't want to run around and cause panic. Definitely don't panic. I think it's electrical. It's falling debris from houses. The fact that the earth is shifting makes it very difficult to move or walk or run. So you've got to just brace yourself and hold on until the earthquake is over. Then you can safely get out of the building if you choose to get out of the building or not. But never run out of a building because people get killed from debris falling on them as they're trying to, to run out of a building. You don't want that to happen. And by the way, put your shoes on. Don't go, don't ever go running away from your bedroom with bare feet. It's the breaking of gas lines and the breaking of, of uh, power lines and uh, electricity not being turned off soon enough and the gas not being turned off. For everyone who has an animal, you need to make sure that you have an earthquake preparedness kit for your animal. If your animal is on medications, you need to have extra medication. If your animal is on special food, you need to have extra special food. And you need to have everything for an animal that you would have for a person. Yes, because uh, before earthquakes, big earthquakes happen, there's all kinds of swarms of little earthquakes. And they probably can feel those a lot better than we can. I think animals are very sensitive to the feel of the earth as they as we saw in the tsunami in, in um, 2004, the tsunami, animals were running away from the beach and if people had followed them they would have been safe. Definitely. They can sense everything before it happens. So what should you do if you have a dog? Your dog starts running, you follow your dog. Okay, I was working on the television show Dallas and you know a lot of people work in Hollywood in Los Angeles and we were they were filming during the Whittier earthquake when the Whittier earthquake happened everything started shaking including the big heavy lights all the actors went to the fake doors <laughs> I was awakened by my bed banging against the wall thunk thunk about that rhythm thunk thunk and I tried to get out of bed and the and the earth was moving so much that my f I fell on my knees. It jerked my me off my, f my feet. In the Northridge earthquake, I was heading out of our apartment building to go check for gas leaks, and I had my I had my my flashlight, and I was going to go around and take a sniff test to see if it smelled like gas was leaking. And I got to the I got just around at the corner where the the gas main is, and I looked behind me, and my whole building was following me. It's like they they thought I knew what I was doing. And I looked behind two people, and one guy had a lit candle. That's how he was. That's how he was illuminating he didn't have a he didn't have a flashlight and I told him I said blow that candle out if we have a gas le leak you're gonna launch us to Mars he just didn't think a candle in an earthquake no way always remember stop, stop drop, drop and hold on I hope you learned something from my earthquake preparedness film in case you're wondering this is a CERT team uniform CERT stands for community emergency response team it is an organization that helps firefighters with emergencies such as earthquakes. For more information, there are many resources on the internet.